I finally did it. Now I just feel like burning this. Five years ago, an artist by the name of Ahmed Al Dori created this challenge called the 100 Heads Challenge, which sounds morbid. I have to draw 100 heads or 100 portraits in 10 days. So I attempted the 100 Head Challenge, and this is how it went. What's up howdy welcome to my youtube channel i'm rumbo yay and for those who don't know me already i'm an artist and i make videos just about that so if that interests you you might want to hit the subscribe button down below so the question is why why did i decide to put myself through the torture of drawing 10 portraits every day for 10 days simply enough i wanted to torture myself i wanted to feel absolute pain truth be told i haven't drawn in a long time i haven't been in a constant state of drawing and sketching and i really missed it i did this challenge in the hopes of fast tracking a process of getting back into sketching and drawing and also because of the intensity hopefully just improving my skills i have a confession to make i am terrified of portraits nowadays before i started this challenge drawing faces would make me cry so i'm facing my fears in this challenge by not only jumping back into drawing which i had procrastinated for ever ironic because i'm supposed to be an art youtuber but also i'm um, facing my fears that i've generated around creating pictures of faces in this little sketchbook here we're gonna do a flip through of all the drawings so you see the progression i have made because i am quite shocked at how much my drawing has improved but i do have to confess i did complete the challenge the question is did i complete it in 10 days <laughs> no no i did not not at all i started this on the 8th of january as of recording right now it is the 20th of february I finished last night. That means I have done this in not 10 days, but 42. I wish I had a credible excuse. I don't, I, I really don't. Before we get further on into this video, make sure you like, subscribe, turn on my post notifications so you're notified when next I upload a video. Big news, guys. If you scroll down next to my name, oh, I haven't even said it out loud yet. You'll see that we hit 10 thousand subscribers what the heck thank you so much because what the heck <laughs> i don't know why all of you guys are here but i'm not gonna question it thank you so much all for sticking around and subscribing i'm gonna cry again after i record this video but thank you if you haven't subscribed already it would mean the world if you join our family our family of 10,000 people and share this with all of your friends please and thank you comment down below if you have ever done this 100 heads challenge and how it went and if not if you would ever do this in the future okay let's get started i've been waiting for this one turn it on okay i'm gonna be going through this with you guys so that you see the progression from day one to day 42 so i started this challenge on the 8th of january for the first four days i was like so disciplined and then i stopped but then recently i finally got the fire up my butt again to finish this because i i needed to prove myself that i could finish a challenge if you haven't watched already i actually did a previous challenge where i tried to wake up every day at 5 a.m to create art i failed spoiler already i up above if you haven't watched it but i i failed it was gonna bruise my ego if i failed this one so we didn't that's another thing you will see my pencils are never sharp i've been called out for it time and time again this is a historical problem even my art teacher in high school would complain if you are infuriated by how thick the lines are i apologize in advance day one you can tell i had no idea what i was doing <laughs> with these faces what the heck <laughs> is this drawing on the bottom left corner i don't know what's going on with miss man's face or the neck of the guy on the top right on the first day i was actually excited to get started but the first drawing is always the ugliest drawing and that was true for every single day like it never changed the top left corner was the first drawing for some reason <laughs> whenever i'm like drawing a face they all look the same and i'm gonna show you i actually have my sketchbook from 2019 and i kid you not when i first started learning how to draw faces here the face looks the same it is what five years of oh wow 2019 is five years ago anyway it is five years apart 
and these two girls look exactly the same. That's not bad, it just didn't look like the reference picture. I was not confident and you can tell by how many lines there are. It's very scribbly. I do a lot of charcoal drawing as well. I actually really enjoy expressionistic styles. I never draw like fine refined detail. I hate it. It makes me want to jump off a bridge into a pit of fire. This type of style is something I love and I love to do intentionally. Here it wasn't. I was using shading to hide the fact that my proportions are janky. I am not confident at all. You can even see this failure. It was one with like a weird perspective. I couldn't. The eyes I kept messing up but yeah all in all in the beginning it's not the worst but I personally could tell I struggled. Day two is pretty much the same thing. I thought I was a bit more confident and then we turn the page. This is supposed to be a baby. That's all I'm gonna say. This guy on the top left corner. I liked that joy. The other ones they were just screaming like I don't know what I'm doing. The thing that hurts is that I put effort into these. You'll see what I mean when I talk about effort when I go on. In the beginning, I was putting a lot of effort into sketching these. Even though I wanted them to be fast sketches, I was taking my time because I felt so unsure and I still wasn't 100% satisfied. Like they're not bad, but like <laughs> the amount of time I put into these does not reflect. Okay, day three. I really liked this picture, Sir, in the bottom middle. He kind of looks like um, the actor from Tale of the Nine-Tailed. Anyway, what I found during this challenge, ironically so, the more simpler the faces were, the harder they were. And by simple, I mean it's usually like the younger faces, which I usually struggle with. Exhibit A with the baby from the previous day. Everything that had like smooth skin, not much detail that I could fill in, that was the hardest. Girl, Miss Ma'am in the top right corner, her eyes were they're not bad but if you saw the reference photos they don't look like this i don't know who these people are the last five that i did on day three i actually really enjoyed they looked a lot more like the reference photos you can even tell like the difference from day three compared to the first day where i was just using a bunch of scribbles to hide my insecurities he looks like he'd be justin bieber's cousin you can tell my pencil was slightly sharper we're not going to talk about the blank page that i skipped by mistake because it still makes me sad day four i feel like it was the turning point day four was peak during that time i don't know what magic was running through my fingers there were a lot of different like facial expressions and angles and like different ethnicities and that was really fun even though the faces were quote unquote simpler and you'll know what i mean when i get onto the other faces which are like of aged people or just like cartoony people it looked like the reference and i was a lot more confident with my lines because you can see i didn't have to like scribble a lot to try and make sense of the picture even when i started getting into all of these like animated exaggerated faces i really enjoyed it actually i'll put up a picture of some of the references i'm talking about i was scared of these people they turned out to be the ones that i enjoyed the most during this challenge sir at the bottom left one of my favorites out of this whole challenge so i just really enjoyed day four i felt like i had a breakthrough i drew jimin looks like him i'm glad i should post a picture in 2018 i did one of my first ever like fan art of k-pop people i did of jimin did not look like him at all so he'd be very proud uh i don't know if you'll be able to see the dates that i drew we went from the 11th of january which is day four to the 16th <laughs> i skipped five days at the peak moment i stopped i put too much pressure on myself to do even better drawings afterwards so i just stopped for the week so here's where we start to get like a lot more aged faces i enjoyed them i don't know it looks like skull faces except for the simple one see see what i was telling you about the simple faces are the ugliest it's not for the model she's beautiful i butchered her face i think you can see that like i used a lot more line here so i was starting to get a little worried drawing them because i've never drawn in this way before i think it turned out well if we go on to the next page we're not gonna talk about the bottom left once again that's supposed to be a baby i'm so sorry for whoever's child that was that i did this to the guy in the middle is one of my favorite drawings in this entire series i don't know what happened in my fingers i don't know if you ever draw something it's just coming together well the proportions are proportioning and then like at one point you just have to stop yourself before you ruin it it looks like the reference i didn't put a date for the next five pictures on the next page you see we've moved from the 16th of january to the 8th 8th of February. If you are enjoying this so far and you haven't already, make sure you like and subscribe so you're notified when next I upload a video. It has been a while, but this was when I felt convicted. I actually have to finish this. I'm not a quitter.
the man here is where i felt a downfall i lost the momentum and then again i felt insecure so i'm not really happy with these drawings top left drawing i really tried it's okay the other ones are not the best miss girl in the middle i'm sorry i did that to your face compared to the previous drawings i feel like you can see a decline which is okay more faces more expressionistic ones where we got to get like a lot more bearded people and a lot more weirdly shaped people these are fictional characters i would never call someone's child <laughs> weirdly shaped thing with me and beards is i am so lazy to draw hair most of the hair is going to be scribbled in this video you're just going to have to deal we'll call it an intentional creative decision faces aren't the greatest but they're okay i'm just glad i continued despite wanting to give up and even on the next page the top left drawing i don't know what that is and i knew when i was drawing i didn't know what it was but you know what we keep going top right kind of looks like ice spice it wasn't her and because i had already drawn like what 60 portraits i was wondering if maybe i'm a fraud the most simplest of faces i really couldn't do the faces that i was scared to do were the nice ones and the ones I thought would be a piece of cake were my nightmares. Next day, I hit another breakthrough. I really enjoyed drawing these. The top left looks like Dumbledore, kind of. This is where I, this is where I really implemented like one of the tricks in creating all of these different characters. I realized it was so easy to map that out by drawing the nose first. I guess if you came here for tips, draw the nose first that can like tell you so much about the face on the other page just like weird crazy bronco stand guy <laughs> another simple face it wasn't the worst you can tell compared to the other drawings i didn't have the most fun <laughs> the last 20 okay here here was another breakthrough first of all in the second half i finally sharpened my pencil a little bit more took fewer lines here are their shading but only because i wanted to add it not because i was using it to compensate i enjoyed it once again simple face throws me under the bus i don't know who she is i apologize i knew it was going wrong as soon as i started drawing i didn't even correct it i left it there look how crispy it looks and look at all the different noses i don't know there's a lot of different facial expressions and i'm surprised that i was able to like capture them I'm always so scared that when I draw faces, I can't draw the expression, and that insecurities with portraiture. In this challenge, I really captured it. The last 10 drawings were fun and kind of emotional. Realizing how easier it came to me to just like draw. Once again, I sharpened my pencil a little bit more. They're not as detailed as some of the previous ones I showed you, but I see the most growth in the last pictures because of how easy it was for me to capture the drawing in few strokes. If we compare day 10 to day one, how much more confident I was on day 10, well not day 10, day 42, but you know what I mean, compared to day one. That was the kind of ease that I had been missing in drawing and like confidence. And I feel like last night I finally hit closer towards that feeling of confidence in the strokes. There were also simpler faces, but I feel like here I kind of pulled it off. Okay, final thoughts. One thing I have to say about this challenge, it's really one step at a time. I am glad that I continued it even though I didn't put it in the 10 day frame. <laughs> though I did stretch it over quite a long time, it still did improve my drawing astronomically. I definitely want to continue drawing. Not want to, I should. It's my profession. I do recommend that you also do this challenge and let me know if you also do it because it's actually like really fun. I'll put the link to the Pinterest board of all the references right there so you have them for each day. I can't believe I actually did it. If there are any other art challenges that I'm not aware of, leave it down in the comments down below and I'll be sure to try it. I'm going to end off this video here and say thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, like, if you like me, subscribe, comment down below, all that fun jazz. Thank you again for 10,000 subscribers. And until then. Pi said he found the whole process cringy and frustrating to start with. The reality is, learning anything is the most cringiest experience known to man. I don't know if you've ever tried 